Welcome to another video. In today's video, I'm going to start a repair series. I'm going to go over some common repair items that you could probably fix yourself. So let's start out right away. Right here, what we have is wallpaper seam tape. Now, a lot of these RVs have this wall paneling. And when the two panels come together, they have a seam and they cover it up with this seam tape. So that's the problem I have here. This tape is starting to bubble and at the bottom you can see it cracked right here. Now I did see tiny signs during my pre-delivery and didn't think anything of it but it only got worse over time. So we're going to go ahead and repair that. Now this is throughout. You're going to have seam tape like if you look over here you see how this seam tape is starting to lift here. I pushed this down many times. Over time it always starts falling off. And you know how adhesives or tape works. Once it's not put on there very good, it always seems to lift off. So I'm going to replace that piece as well. And let's go ahead and go down here at the toe kick. Now if you look at my toe kick, this is where the two pieces of wood on the toe kick come together. And same thing, there's a seam that goes here. And there's this seam tape here. Now this is, you know, wood grain material. But I did see slight signs of it lifting during my PDI and they just, you know, again, pushed it back down. But it only got worse over time. So if you come up here and this is what I have. Here are the part numbers. And I bought these two items from Winnebago Parts directly. Unfortunately, the minimum order is 25 feet on each. I only need a little bit, but... Here's the wallpaper seam tape, and then here's the toe kick seam tape. So if anybody uh, needs some, you can contact me. I can fold some up and put it in plain old-fashioned snail mail and mail it to you first class. But we're going to go ahead and uh, replace that. These are simple DIYs. And after this, I'll show you some other repairs we can make. Let's go ahead and remove this old seam tape. I'll probably fast forward this section here. But it looks like they have... One piece that stopped here, but it should have continued on to this section here. It uh, looks like you have to tear this off carefully, otherwise the wallpaper on this piece of wood looks like that wants to lift off right now, so I do have to take some caution. I'm going to take some time here and we'll speed this up, but looks like this will take some finesse work here. Well, it looks like what Winnebago did was they only put the piece on the front. I would probably wrap it up the top and the bottom as well, and that's what I'm going to do. Okay, I got a piece that's five and a quarter. Looks like that will fit up there perfectly. Now, before I put, on, uh, put this on here, I'm going to clean this with rubbing alcohol. Now I got some uh, rubbing alcohol on here and we'll clean this up. Okay, let's get this on here. There we go. Okay, that should do it. I'll rub this down some more, but you get the drill. It's a pretty uh, easy fix that you can do yourself. Let's uh, jump on to another one. Okay, we're going to do the uh, same thing with the uh, toe kick. Looks pretty simple. And based on what I see here, looks like we can use the uh, same height to get it in there. But same thing, we'll clean this area with rubbing alcohol. OK, 
Okay, I got my uh, new piece on here. We can start on the bottom on this one. Well, that's it. Really simple fixes that you can make on this seam tape. And you can see, this piece I just pushed back down, it already became loose. So obviously this piece needs to be replaced. So I'll go ahead and do that right now. Let me show you another area that's a problem on my RV. If you look in this corner here, you'll see this blemish right here. And this corner doesn't look the uh, best. It's probably gonna be it's going to be a little hard to catch with the lighting. The same thing with that tape, what you can do is you can fold it in half into like a 90 degree corner. And we'll end up placing this piece up there to make it look nice. So I'll go ahead and do that and I'll show you how it looks after. Here you can see, I put that corner piece of tape on there. Obviously you can see that there's a piece of tape, but it hides that imperfection pretty well and again this is a uh, pride and workmanship it just makes the fit and finish a little bit better let's uh, jump on to another project so in my bathroom i have one of these medicine cabinets and after the first year my medicine cabinet started falling off the wall i tried to see what was really going on and if you look closely you're going to see the old screw holes here, inside. See those old screw holes up on top? So how Winnebago and many other RV manufacturers assemble their walls is whenever they want to anchor something into the wall, inside the wall assembly, they, they don't hit the metal studs. Usually there's barely any metal studs, but they glue a piece of metal onto the foam itself. And then this little uh, piece with the wall covering on it. It's not plywood. It is one eighth inch thick Luan. So technically not even plywood. It's so thin. So if you only uh, attach a screw to the Luan, it's not very strong at all because it's so thin. I think everyone knows what one eighth inch is. But what they do is they put a metal backing on here. And the reason my cabinet fell off is because you can take that magnet. Remember that magnet I used on the uh, stair trick? There's no metal behind there. They actually mounted the cabinet. See how this magnet sticks now? They mounted the cabinet almost two inches too low. So when that happened, they missed all the metal backing. So I had to take this cabinet out, raise it up. You know, it looks like I raised it up about an inch and a half so I could actually hit that metal backing. Now these holes are left behind. Let me show you what I, a little trick I do to fix these holes. So what I do is I take a hammer and just a regular Phillips screwdriver and I pound this in a little bit. When the screw comes out, what happens is this ends up being raised. Part of the wood deforms and it gets raised a little bit. So after I pound it in with a hammer a little bit, then I also take one of these plastic razor blades and I scrape off any high spots so we have a nice flush surface to work with. Now we're going to uh, fill those in. So the next step is what I'm using is this plasti wood wood filler. Now this is just what I had in hand instead of buying something new. And what I did was I filled in these holes. I probably didn't need to, but I filled them in. I filled them in really good. You have to, because it was a screw hole, you got to push it in and do a couple of different applications. But I filled them all in really good. Wiped off the ex excess. And I did this several times knowing that it, it's in hole. And then scraped off all the extra. Now I'm going to uh, let this dry a little bit and I'm going to wipe off this will clean up with water pretty easily. And once that's cleaned up, we'll go ahead and apply that same seam tape and I'll show you the final product. 
Okay, here's a quick shot of the almost finished project. So I have all the wood putty in, cleaned it up really well, also applied some alcohol on here to clean it up. And finally what I did was I cut that seam tape into these little squares. I'm going to apply this on here and try to line up the lines. So let me uh, go ahead and do that and I'll show you the final finished project. Well, here's the finished project. It's going to be really hard to see because it blends in so well, but I put the patches on. You really even, uh, it's almost impossible to see it with the uh, naked eye, but it's right here. There's another one right here. So really the moral of the story is, if I was you, I would suggest going ahead and actually getting some of this seam tape before it's discontinued. Now you want to match up the seam tape with the uh, RV, the model year RV you have, but I'm pretty sure this is the same stuff they've been using for the 2020 through 2023 Winnebago uh, View and Navions. The other reason why you want to have this is, let's say you accidentally made a hole. Like here's a good example. They put this hole here for the window shades. So if you hung some pictures, if you wanted to cover up a screw hole, I think this would be good. So if you can see how I lay it up here, you see how it kind of blends in? It's better than having that obvious hole or it filled in with a different product. So I think this is a really good idea to have on hand. So if anybody needs some, uh, let me know and I'll go ahead and uh, mail you some. Now that's my uh, repair series. If you would like to see other repair series, if you have a problem with your Murphy bed bouncing down, I can show you how to repair that. Now if you look at my Murphy bed, you see how it operates nice and smooth. I stop it and it doesn't bounce. So if yours bounces a lot, I'll show you how to fix that. But if you'd like to see other repair series videos, let me know and I'll uh, post them up. That's uh, really it. That sums up this project. And hopefully uh, this isn't too boring for you, but I think other people will run into this circumstance. And a really simple DIY fix. So if you like videos like this, uh, please hit the thumbs up button. And we'll see you on the next video.